Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday today, I didn't have time to film yesterday. I was working on things. Um, so today I've just woke up, my hair's a mess. I'm just gonna quickly brush it and pop it back up. And then I'm heading into town because I'm getting my ears pierced and I'm getting my nose pierced. I'm so excited guys, I've wanted my nose pierced for so long. And watching my last couple of vlogs, I've noticed that my first piercings, there's quite a big gap there. So I'm, I'm getting that filled. So um, yeah, so all my next stuff comes. So when I get back, I will show you. It's all fitness for me. And I bought some things for Max. I also bought some makeup. Sneak peek. I'm going to show on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, check out. Because you will see that before this goes live next week. So I'm going to go because I don't want to be late. Um, kind of just, I might go to Primark just to have a little look. And B&M. Don't really need anything from B&M. But if I'm early enough, I can have a little shopperoo. So I haven't been in Primark for a little while. So um, yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna go and I will catch up with you guys at some point. So just out, got the nose done. Look how good that looks. Ah, it wasn't sore that much. It was like a sting. I also got my ears done. Do not hurt at all. The nose is a bit kind of tender, I can feel, because obviously it's more cat cat cartridge, cartridge, <laughs> than these. Obviously I've got fat lobes, so these, I, I don't feel them at all, um, but I'm obsessed. And then I've got about 12 weeks when I can change it into a ring, which I'm so excited about. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I was gonna get coffee. I went into Primark. I didn't buy anything, which I'm actually proud of myself for. So I'm gonna go get home, have a coffee, because I've not had anything to eat yet, which probably wasn't the best thing to do when I'm getting a piercing done, but I'm not that fussed when it comes to piercings and tattoos, like pain, that sort of pain doesn't face me like, pfft. My eye, it was so weird. She, um, Louise did say that this does happen to people when no matter what, like whatever side you get pierced, that eye waters. Like it wasn't sore, but my eye just started streaming. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and I will catch up with you guys later. Hi guys, so it is coming up for quarter past two. I'm just getting ready for work. I am so good. Like, so good. So this is cork and honey love. What do we think? I am going to go and I'm going to work. And I'm absolutely obsessed with my nose. And I've got the three... It just makes me, it just makes it look better, I think. Yay. But anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys tomorrow where I'll probably vlog a bit more because I'm off work. Um, and I'll do like a little try on of all the fitness stuff that I got, which I'm really excited about. So, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's finally a day off. But Max has a cold. Lee had it yesterday. Lee's fine today. And now Max is unwell. Fantastic. I have my new jumper on from Adidas. How? I love it. I was going to go to Aldi and get my food shop, but I really don't want to take Max out of the house. So he's off nursery today. I feel like he's just never there, like constantly getting bugs and cold and stuff. Take a coffee. You want a yogurt? I need to make a shopping list anyway, so it's probably better than me going right away. McDonald's last night, because Lee wasn't feeling very well, and I couldn't be coming home to actually food, like cooking food, so I was like, you know what? Be quite healthy, we'll have a McDonald's. So I went, we now have one right next to our shop, um, my work, um, but the last time I went there, my usual is a McChicken sandwich meal. They char grilled <laughs> the patty, the chicken patty that it was like a brick and it was horrible so i was like do i risk going back there because it's new and they're probably like brand new staff and things or do i go to my regular one so i went to the regular one went through the drive through i went through about five past ten past ten they uh, told me to wait which was fine there was a car behind me i was sitting i felt like i was waiting for ages my phone died as well and i'm still needing to order a usb port thing for my car 
But um, I was, I felt like I was waiting there for ages. It got to like, I think half past. So we were waiting there for 20 minutes, which is the longest I've ever waited for a McDonald's. People were coming in and out. Everybody else through the drive through was getting through and I wasn't ordering anything unusual. It was a McChicken sandwich meal, a double Mc, Big Mac and two kids meals. So it wasn't like they had to take anything off the normal recipes. So I don't know why I had to wait, to be honest. The girl behind me obviously gave up went in come out with her food and she come to my car she was like you need to go in and get it because there's not there's nobody's going to bring it out to you he says he can't be arsed i was like what the f what <laughs> i was like why tell people to wait if you can't be bothered bringing it out like i just don't understand so i went in had a full-on argument we'll go have a coffee and max is literally still sleeping it's nine o'clock he like yesterday lee was burning up like he was so hot He's fine today. It must have just been like a 24 hour thing. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting the cold, but I don't know if it's just, I, I've got really bad sinuses. I always have to kind of massage my face like here and it really helps. I've always been like that. I don't know if there's something that can be done for that. I don't know. Hey guys, do not mind my patchy fake tan. Like, I don't know what happened. I want to scrub it off maybe tonight actually. I was going to wait until sunday but i think i might need to do that today we're actually going to ikea how exciting i've not been to ikea since before lockdown like when we could go so i'm gonna quickly get changed i've been in the shower i have done my makeup i have filmed this from my instagram so again if you have not checked my instagram out check it out because i will put it on a highlight for you guys so i'm gonna quickly get changed into my new stuff that i got yesterday from next from next, hope I'll show you what it looks like yeah. on. So this is the sports bra. It's actually nice and tight, which I actually really like. And it actually is better that way as well because then I can it will last longer as well for when I do go down a dress size. So I'm excited for that. So that's the sports bra. So this is the tank top. How cute! I love the colour. Like, I really like this cream colour. I know you can't really see it, but... The jumper, I've just moved it down a bit. I have been wearing this this morning and I'm obsessed. I've also got my new bracelet on from Slide. Um, I will leave my code for them for a discount. Um, it's not super short, but it's just really baggy here, and I love it. It is so cosy, so, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, I did good. And then I'll quickly put the trousers on and I'll show you them. Now, please do not mind, I have a mum tum, and that's the reason why I got these outfits, or this outfit, to work out oh. in and to actually get fit but uh, I don't really know where, how I'm gonna show you Let me see <laughs> love it and I was I was tied in as well but then I had to get ready and then as usual the boys absolutely destroyed all the rooms I tidied so now the house needs tidied again that looks better isn't this lip combo like the best and I've went back on to next and I've seen they have a ton of all the colours that I've want back in stock which I'm like do I don't I I'm just gonna I just don't wear bright colours anymore like I just I haven't in about a year so I think I'm actually gonna go through my makeup again get rid of all the colours the only colour I'm gonna keep is a red because I was sometimes wear a red lipstick um, and I've only got like maybe one red lipstick. The rest is all nude. So. And I've just chucked the hair up. This one bit fringe is just far too small to go in the pony. And I don't have any other clasps. So this will have to do. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I've just woken up. Like, I feel like I'm coming down with something. Lee's had it Monday, Tuesday. Max is still not right, and I feel like I'm oversleeping. I'm struggling to get up, which is annoying. I just made myself a cup of tea. Max is under the covers, on the couch, nice and cozy. That was like the best thing when I was little, when I was ill. 
sit on the couch watching tail and just getting anything handed to me that I wanted. Um, so he's he's really hot, but his temperature's fine, but he feels really hot in his throat. I've been trying to look down it because I used to get really bad like tonsillitis. I had glandular fever when I was younger. So I need to make sure he's okay that way because I don't know if they're genetic. I don't I don't know if they are or not. But Lee doesn't really have like his cough sounds different to Lee's. Lee's just sounds like a normal cough that you would get with a cold. Whereas Max sounds really sore. Like that, you know that sore, sore cough where like you really don't want to cough because it's really sore. So yeah, I hate when they're ill. But Lee's all better. He's been driving me mad the last two days. I was going to film my IKEA trip yesterday. It was really nice and quiet, but it's like it's technically the first first time me and Stuart has actually done stuff together in a while with the kids. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna not bring the camera out because it's just yeah. I like to relax when I'm with Stuart sometimes because like we both work really awkward shifts where we basically never see each other so when we do get a chance to kind of see each other i really don't want to be just making sure i'm vlogging it do is i'm going to show you what i got <laughs> i didn't really go in for much i did go in for like a cheap tv unit but i couldn't find any they were all really expensive for what i wanted um well i come out with a hundred pounds worth of stuff i don't know how because i didn't really buy much i don't think and then we had chips and meatballs. Oh my goodness, their meatballs are... I've actually got some. Not the Ikea ones. I picked it up from the food warehouse, I think. Um, and I picked up the sauce from Ikea. Because, like, you can't have meatballs without the Ikea sauce. So, yeah. I'll quickly uh, grab all the stuff. And I'll show you what I got. Don't mind my face in that, honestly. I was so tired last night. I didn't take my makeup off like my makeup um yeah i know it's bad i need to take it off but i was just so tired like i really need to look into getting like vitamins and stuff and all that stuff so anyway i'm gonna pop you down and i'll grab the ikea stuff so i got a baby um so i'll just put them at random because they are just totally just thrown in there so yeah this is what i got I'm also living in this jumper now. It is my go-to. Still got it on. Yes. So the first thing that we picked up, which we get every single time we're in IKEA, my mum also sneaks some of these when she's around. Uh, it's just the mini game bars or dime, whatever you want to call them. Um, just pick to do up. It also loves this chocolate again. We get this every single time when we're in because he just loves it. I'm not a huge fan of their chocolate. I've had a few things and I'm just, Ooh. yes. Um, I've had a few things from them and I'm just not a fan. To be honest, I think my taste buds are changing because anything really sweet, I'm not really liking at the minute. Lightning USB cables for our phones. I just get one of these every single time we're in. It's just, they're quite long. I quite like the length of them. So, new potato peeler, or just a peeler because I needed a new one because the other one this bit totally broke like the actual bit that you use so i picked up another one of those finally found some glass straws hurry i've been looking for these everywhere i was gonna get i was gonna get them from amazon um but i seen them here in a, uh, ikea first so i was like well we're gonna have to buy them look how pretty these are and they're just straight Cute. How cute is this? This was four pound. I know for that for a fact that was four pound. And um, you can use it for like cleaning your plants, but I think I really want to use it as decor. Like it's really pretty. Um, I'm not sure. I probably will ever use it. I don't know. I don't really have much real flowers, but I just thought like the whole kind of texture on it and things was really pretty. Then obviously picked up the sauce. They actually had it ready made now, which is absolutely amazing because we've had the powdered stuff where you make it yourself, but it just wasn't the same. I made it too money and I went with the instructions on it and it just did not taste the same. So I'm hoping that this is like, like exactly the same. Bowl for the laundry room. I'm hoping this fits because this was the only bulb, bulb they had that wasn't screwing. So if no, 
I'll need to use it somewhere else, but I need to get out of the bottle. But. Then got these biscuits. These are basically just like jammy dodgers. Basically. But these have got raspberry. I'm not sure if jammy dodgers are strawberry. So, cute little hearts though. I then got a lint roller and three fiddles. Um, this is really good for my bed. And I mean, I need a new one because I haven't done it in a while and I use it just to take off all the dust off the, the suede bed. It's just really good. And also clothes and all that usual stuff. Oh, this vase, how beautiful is this vase? I'm really hoping I can keep this for the new house because it's exactly the look that I'm going for for the new house. So it is absolutely gorgeous in this kind of ribbed detail in a nice cream colour. Um, this was £10, which I thought was so cheap compared to what I've seen online. So I picked up that. I picked up three of these ones, which I think I need to cut because I want them to actually just sit in. But I've got three of these ones, which are supposed to be like... I want to say carnations almost, but the carnations aren't usually as bunched like that. But really pretty. Just plain... Um, they sort of remind me of eucalyptus, but they're not. Um, they're just leaves, and I'm going to put them in that as well. So kind of, you know, obviously shorter, but I got those. I don't really remember what, how much the pads were. That's the only thing. Yes, this vase. These are quite cheap. I just there, there was a few of them that I really like. I should have just got loads. <laughs> But anyway, um, this is just a really nice plain vase and then to go in this one, just to go in that, so it's like pink posies. Cute, right? I up this one because I'm thinking of using this for my tea lights because I just got them in a white basket and they look quite boring. So I thought having this in like my bedroom, uh, well, what I'll do is I'll maybe keep some in the white, um, box for downstairs but then upstairs because I do have like wax nose upstairs and then I could put maybe even in the bathroom It'll look quite cute so this was only £1.50 for this big huge thing so I thought that was really good beautiful I'm obsessed with this ribbed detail in at the minute I think it looks so nice I've been searching and searching and searching for like cups and plates with it there was a dining set at work for a tenner and I'm really wanting to get it i might pick it up tonight at work if it's still there and keep it for the new house it's like a creamy color so pretty um but yeah this is beautiful and then the flowers to go in that one buns these were all 50 pence each so quite an expensive 50 pence each for those ones pink and two of the white to be honest they look more like posies than roses but um anyway and then i'm just gonna and I've arranged them. It was quite cool because they had so much new stuff in there. They had like a set for a salon and a kilt shop. So if you were like a business that was like in you know, like you had your own salon, you can go in and kind of see the set up and things. It was really cool. And then they also had like in the flower plate the bit where all the fake flowers are, you can do your own arrangement, which was quite cute. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of the vibe for that. Um, but obviously I'll make the posies a little bit shorter and sort them and stuff. So. I got those, and then the last three things that I got, new jars, because I'm sick, I'm actually sick to death of the boosters not having a lid on them. It's so annoying me. So I'm thinking, I've got three of them, and they've got the cork lid. They're bigger as well than the ones that I've got, so I can fill more in them. So I'm just going to literally swap them over. I might keep the ones for something else upstairs. Maybe bubble bath or something, maybe. Um... But yeah, I got these. I think this was like £3.50 each, which I thought was quite good. That's everything that I got from my hair. I don't really feel like I got that much, but yeah, it comes to 122 quid or something. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to go put all this away. Um, I need to find places for the two smaller vases. I'm thinking of maybe just putting them on the windowsill. Just to, I have nothing on my windowsills, so I'm thinking that I might make that area look a bit cute. Maybe one in here one in the living room or something i don't know but this one's definitely going in on the dining table that's why i bought that one and then i'll need to make stickers or get vinyl words for that but i'm really wanting the you know the white and black labels so then i can keep these for the 
other house as well. That's the vibe that I'm going for for the new house as well. I say that I'm getting. I feel I'm saying it like I'm getting a new house next week. I'm really not. Um, it is going to take a long, long time, but I have my heart set on that vibe, like the natural creamy colours and stuff. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. One more shift. And then off the bacon, I've got food on this. I'm so annoyed. I don't know where that's come from because I've not really ate anything this colour. So I'm going to have to do it in a hot wash. Just made myself a cup of tea. That's like my famous saying, isn't it? When I wake up, just made myself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I said I'm working today, so I thought I'd just jump on and say hi and end this vlog. I'm actually thinking of doing a Sunday reset for you guys and putting that up on maybe Wednesday or something. And this weekly vlog has not been really exciting. But... I went to Tesco's last night, so I thought I'd show you the bits that I got. Um, I didn't get a lot. I, te I technically went in for milk and I came out with a few things, so I thought I'd show you them. So, we'll pop you there. The first thing that I got was a hedge bath. Look how cool it is. Absolutely love it. Milk. I also got this to try. So, this is the... XX Espresso Cold Brew Coffee with Almond. I do like a iced coffee sometimes. So I thought I'd give this a go. I've seen everybody talk about it. And don't mind my nails by the way. I had to take them all off because they were just annoying me. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. And then I did get earrings. I've got some of them in now. They were eight pounds, I think, for like loads of different gold ones. So um, it's just simple studs. And then I got myself a jury because I really wanted one for oh I took the tag off. Damn! I'm gonna take that back today then and get that tag taken off. Um but yeah, I got this to take Max and Nursery in and stuff, so I'm gonna take this back today, which is a bit annoying. Oh yeah, I got that. <laughs> I like the colour, it was only 20 something pounds. They did have 25% um, off all clothing with the club card, but I couldn't get them to scan and it was itself scan and I couldn't really just ask for folks, so I just bought it. But yeah, I like the colour and I thought it would go kind of well with this. I just need to take this back now and get this tag taken off. Week. and just chill this morning and then tomorrow is going to be a deep please say I've full but I'm going to have my tea and just chill I feel sick again I also have just made a salt water to clean my piercings which I'm going to do and yeah so just go chill until work and then tomorrow is going to be a cleaning day and then I'm going to I don't know if I am but I'm thinking about it, just seeing how it goes on the Saturday um, of filming a kind of reset day on the Sunday. So I'm going to leave this vlog here. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you guys either Wednesday or Sunday for next week's vlog.